recording? Yep. What's good, everybody? Superstar over here. Um, as you can see, uh, it's your boy. It's your motherfucking boy. Um, it is March. Uh, March something. March the third. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and bring you guys a brand new. Um, studio talk video the last time I did one of these when I kind of showed you all um, uh, showed you all, all the new equipment I got and then I did another one after that where I just kind of hold the camera like this and I just kind of talk to you guys um, I got a lot of good feedback with that and a lot of you guys liked it and was like oh you know what I'm saying make some more of those whatever they're cool just to chill and talk about uh, what's going on you know new studio stuff new equipment um, all that type of stuff so that's what we're gonna do right now um, uh, I got up early today. It's usually, usually I don't honestly get up until like 3.30 uh, p.m. even later if I've been up all night. But I slept like literally all day and night yesterday because uh, my internet was down too so I couldn't do a lot. Um, so got up today real early, got a lot of stuff done. Um, I'm about to dive into here and get some uh, mixes done for some customers, some beat mixes. Um, got a paid collab I need to finish for somebody um, and a bunch of other work I've always got tons of work as you can see those folders see all those folders on the screen all that has to be done and that's a lot of shit some of it later than others like for my uh, new EDM album for Beatport which isn't coming out until the summer so that stuff can wait really but most of that needs to be done soon um, so yeah I mean let's just go ahead and talk about some things there's been some questions uh, so I'll touch bases on that stuff um, and I pretty much go from there, but, uh, first off, we could talk about, um, well, the chrono, since I'm looking at it, let me flip the camera around, um, as you guys probably know, I had the cord chronos before, what's happening, young Zeus, what's happening, um, I had the cord, the first cord chronos before, and, it was dope, uh, definitely dope. One of the best, actually the best workstation keyboard I've ever had. Uh, the Korg M3, um, the Korg Kronos, the Korg Oasis, all of the, excuse me, all the Korgs are the best um, workstation keyboards, hands down. So if you want, um, you're looking to get a keyboard, uh, depending on your budget, um, get the M3 or the Kronos. They're better than the Motif, they're better than anything else. They have the best pianos, brass, guitars, all that. Um, now that's just talking about keyboards, not like VSTs and all that too. Um, so what's new about this? Of course it's got this dope old school looking wood side panels that match the virus. Um, which it was just a must to get that. And it has a blacker uh, flat feel. The touch screen's more high quality. Um, and I thought it was more of an aesthetic upgrade. Um, but thankfully, uh, once I got into it... Um, it actually has a whole bunch more sound. It's not just one piano. There's a whole bank of new sounds. There's like 700, 800 new sounds I've been using. Pretty dope. Um, so that's that. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was over here. You all know I have the machine, um, what, complete control, uh, 49. Dope keyboard. Don't get me wrong. Dope. But you might also know if you, uh, you know, keep up with me and you follow... Um, you know, a lot that I do on Facebook and when I'm talking and stuff. Um, I plan to get rid of this thing. Um, and that's be that's for uh, two reasons. Three reasons, four reasons, a whole bunch of reasons. For one, um, it like it's cool and all, but it honestly, with these lights on the keyboard, it gets a little childish feeling. I mean, they are cool, don't get me wrong. You can turn them even, you can even turn them off if you don't like them, but with all those lights on top of all the lights I have on back there and when that's on all those colorful lights and then when that stuff's on all those colorful lights it just gets to be a little bit too much colorful lights um, now that's something that um, you know that's cool because I can I can you can turn all that off if you want so no big deal right but the other thing I'm not liking about this is for one they shipped it to me and this key right here if you can hear it it's like real stiff and like broke like there's a hard crunch like there's a potato chip under there or something it's been like that since i first got it they weren't willing to swap it out for me so whatever um for two it doesn't work um 
I mean, it works as far as, as a MIDI keyboard, but the software it comes with that you would open up, you know, up here on the screen, and it can control all the VSTs that are native instruments, it doesn't work. It opens up, and it'll only use, it'll only find the sounds and only open up some of them. Most of it, though, it'll say cannot find, cannot open. I went back and forth with them for weeks, and they could never help me. They could never figure out why it was doing that. Um, and at, in the end, all they said is, well, maybe if you just reinstall your whole operating system, which is something I'm definitely not doing. Uh, so yeah, it basically, I paid $500 or whatever. Well, I guess I kind of got a deal. Well, I paid whatever it was I paid for it. Um, just for a, a MIDI controller with lights on it. And that's, that's kind of sucky to me. Um, for two, I also don't like this. I mean, sure, it's cool how you can touch it, but I don't really like this. I'd rather have actual knobs there, or wheels. Um, but I wasn't complaining. I was like, fuck it, I'll just, I'll just use it, you know, as a MIDI keyboard. Until I seen Akai come out with this uh, Akai Advanced Keyboard, 49 and 61, whatever, three different ones. Um, it's not out yet, but it comes out this month. And that thing is what will be replacing this thing as soon as it comes out. Probably earlier, because I'm probably going to get it from them earlier. But it's going to, as soon as I can get that thing, this thing is gone. It's just, that thing is a beast. For one, the reason, uh, the reason I say it's even more of a beast um, than that one is, is for a few reasons. For one, the complete control is only supposed to, and only, you know, well, if it works, only supposed to and only can open up other native instruments, VSTs, and control them and stuff with the knobs and all that. But the Akai, Profe the Akai Pro Advanced Keyboard will be able to open up any and all VSTs and control them all. You can browse the sounds all. There's, you know, unlike this, there's no screen. There's an actual, like, nice size screen with ultra quality look ultra quality colors just like a workstation that you browse everything through um there's no lights on the keypads like on this which is this gets old anyway trust me i'm this getting old uh but it has kind of like the colorful uh machine pads it has eight of them up here so it still has some good color to it um and you can you know just have some more pads up there even really good for you if you don't have the the machine or npc and it has like some nice red wood sides it's just dope you know what i mean it's it's especially for the fact that it's going to be able to um hopefully if it works fingers crossed i mean hopefully it doesn't do the same thing this does and i get it and it's not going to open up you know vsts i highly doubt that but let's knock on some wood here um but yeah as long as it actually works it, it would even even if this worked 100 percent at its best it, it would still outperform this of course because this is limited to only other native instruments instruments as where that one can open up and control all and any uh, VSTs. So that's another thing that will be happening soon. Um, let's see, what else we got? I uh, got a new, as most of you probably already know, got a new webcam. Um, it's the Logitech, the whatever the latest one is, whatever, whatever the best Logitech one is, it was uh, like $100 or... 110 or something like that. I don't know something, but it's super high quality. I like it a lot. I've been using it a lot um, As all you VIP members would know and actually some of you uh, actually all of you should know because I did it I used it on the uh, 808 Massacre contact uh, update. I am showing you guys that But I've been using it a lot for the VIP members and the VIP packs each month Because um, you can see me and I show you how to do shit on the screen and that's sent to the members every month So that's dope They've been liking that a lot. Uh, I don't really think anything else is new around here. This mouse I've had for a while now, actually, like last month or so. I'm just now getting used to it. I like it a lot. It's completely touch. You probably all seen me tweet about it. Uh, it's an older mouse, but I like it. It's like a magic mouse, but a little thicker. Everything's touch. There's no, there's no wheel or nothing. I like that. I'm starting to get used to and like that a lot. I got this trackpad too, with some Logitech thing, but I, I really don't honestly use that at all. Um, let me see. I don't think anything else is new around here. Uh, I got some new figures for the studio. God, you guys probably seen that on uh, Instagram. The Beast Wars Megatron. It's a little statue. This little Star Wars ship. Um, so I have some new figures. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's about all that's new. Uh, me, myself, got some new tats. Let's see if you guys can, uh... Got this wolf right here on my finger. It gets blurry when you get too close to it, but 
It's dope as hell. And I got the Bape Shark. I wanted it. It's over here, so if my hand's like that, you don't really see it that much. But it's right here. I wanted it smaller than that, kind of. But, oh, well, it doesn't matter. It'll, once it's, it's not all the way healed. They're not all the way healed anyway. Once they heal all the way, it'll, it'll kind of fade a little bit and not be as bold. So that'll be cool. Uh, and then, well, for those of you who don't know, it's the logo for, one of the main logos for the Bape stuff. You guys know I'm into that. Hella, it's like that logo right there. But yeah, um, I don't know if there's anything else I can really talk about or touch bases on. Um, nothing else that's new going on in here. No other new equipment. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'll just continue to do these. You know, I'll try to do a few of them every month or however often you guys want it. Um, just leave a comment down below. Let me know, you know, how you like these videos, just hanging out, talking about the new stuff. Uh, what all you want to see me talk about when I do these. Or if you have questions about something here you want me to talk about. Um, and I'll, I always look at the comments, always try to talk back and stuff too. So, yeah, go ahead and do that. And um, I'll be looking at the comments and talking back with you guys. And I'll make some new videos like this uh, based on whatever it is you guys uh, say you want me to talk about. Peace.